Hey everyone, Harris O'Malley from DrNerdLove.com. One of the topics that comes up all the time when I talk about how to get better at dating is how do I approach women that I'm interested in? Now, this is something I've covered in previous episodes, although if you all are really interested, I can certainly do another episode about this, get even more in-depth. If you have any questions and you want to hear more about it, be sure to hit up the comments. However, when we talk about approaching, one of the questions I hear all the time, especially from guys who are a little on the shy side or maybe feeling a bit awkward, is wouldn't it be great if women would approach me instead? Yeah. Yeah, it would. In fact, if you know how to play your cards right, you can get women to approach you. But if you want women to approach you, first you have to understand why a lot of women won't make the first move. Most women would love to be the aggressor. They would love to make the first move and do more approaching. But a lot of guys have a hard time with women who throw off traditional gender roles and tend to react badly to women who make the first move. And especially if this happens in an environment where people are expected to mix and mingle and flirt and maybe hook up a little. For example, when a woman approaches a guy at the bar, then often one of two things happens. Either the guy gets upset because he doesn't like aggressive women, or worse, he feels threatened or emasculated because she's being forward and taking the male role, and as a result, they often lash out, sometimes violently. Other times, they go in the other direction and assume far too much interest. I mean, come on, bro, she came on to you. So, hi, how's it going? My name is gets translated to take me in a manly fashion, you stallion, and the guy acts too aggressively, moves too hard, too quickly, and blows the whole thing. And then there's the fact that society is still pretty down on women's sexuality in general, so a woman who is forward or the aggressor runs the risk of being labeled desperate or slutty. But even if she's confident, even if she doesn't care about any of that, she just may not be sure about you. And also, let's not forget, Women are just as afraid of getting rejected as men are. No matter what you may have heard on Reddit or Twitter or wherever, dating is as awkward and as difficult for women as it is for men. And nobody likes getting rejected by somebody that they're attracted to. If you want women to approach you, then you have to know how to send the right message and let them know it's cool for them to make the first move. And no, the secret isn't just be handsome. Incidentally, don't think that these are only tips that you use at the bar or club. You can use these during your everyday life. Whether you are killing time between classes on campus, whether you are hanging out at the bookstore, or working at a coffee shop, or you're at a party, or a meetup, or any other place where you might be seeing people that you're interested in. So, tip number one, you need to dress well. The way that you dress is generally the first thing that women are going to notice about you, and it makes a huge difference on the impression that you make on them. The way that you dress is a visual representation of who you are and how you think of yourself, and it's going to affect how other people see you. Think of it this way. If you see someone, man or woman, doesn't matter, whose hair is ratty, their clothes are ragged and torn and stained, and they look like they smell like feet, you're going to have a pretty low opinion of them, and you're definitely not going to want to talk to them. Not unless you absolutely have to. On the other hand, when you see someone who's dressed really well, you're more drawn to them. They are showing by the way that they've treated themselves and the fact that they've put some effort into their appearance that they feel they have some value. And they're displaying a lot of confidence because they're showing you that they want to be seen. They want to be noticed. And confidence, say it with me now, is sexy. These are all things that you want women to think about you when they see you. And by dressing well, you're employing what is known as the halo effect. No, not that one. Because you look good and you're dressed well, you are making people form more positive impressions about you. So they assume that you are smarter, friendlier, and just all around a better person. And hey, dressing well makes you feel good too. Dressing like a sexy badass makes you feel like a sexy badass. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to be rocking a suit all the time, though it couldn't hurt. 
You can be dressed well and stylish in a t-shirt and jeans. They just have to be clean, they have to fit well, and they really have to mesh with your sense of style. And if you're having a hard time finding your style, then check out the show notes. I've got links to a couple of articles about how to find your style and how to dress well, so go check them out. Tip number two, you need to have open, welcoming body language. One of the reasons why a lot of women don't want to approach you is because, honestly, you look like someone who doesn't want to be approached. Let's say that you're at a party and you're on your own at the moment. What are you doing? Odds are you're over at the wall, you're kind of your head's down, you're looking at your phone, you're trying to look like you're busy texting somebody instead of looking like a loser who doesn't have anyone to talk to. If you saw somebody at that party doing that, would you go talking to them? No, you wouldn't. They look like someone who doesn't want to talk to anyone. So why would someone, especially someone that you might be interested in, want to talk to you while you're doing that? It's the same if you're standing there with a scowl on your face and you're hunched over and your arms are crossed and you're just staring at the floor. Your body language says stay away, so people do. And these are people who might be really interested in you if you weren't giving them the piss off signal. So you need to have warm, open, inviting body language. This means that you want to be standing up straight with your shoulders back, your arms out, your feet about shoulder width apart. Take up a little bit of space to show that you have some confidence. Not much, just a little bit. And you want your head up, you want to be looking around, and you want to have a nice, friendly smile on your face. Also, make sure that if you have anything in your hands, a book, a drink, a folder, whatever, make sure that you do not hold it across your body like a shield. When you do this, you're putting a literal barrier between you and the person that you're talking to, and that closes you off and makes you seem more unwelcoming. You want to hold it out or down by your side, if at all possible. Remember, by adopting more open body language, you are going to seem friendlier, you're gonna be warmer, and most importantly, you're going to be more approachable. Speaking of, tip number three, you want to let women know that you're interested in being approached. You know how that you don't want to approach a woman on the off chance that she doesn't want to talk to you? Women have those same fears and anxieties. So when you see someone that you're interested in, you wanna make sure that you are sending them the signal that says, I see you, I think you're really interesting, why don't you come over and say hi? When women want a guy to come over and say hello, they will give what's known as an approach invitation. These are nonverbal ways of signaling to somebody that they've noticed them, that they're interested, and they'd appreciate it if he would come over and introduce himself. You want to give the same signals, the overt permission to women to come over and say hello. Just without making a big production out of it. The easiest and simplest way to do this is with eye contact. So when you see somebody that you're interested in, especially if you've noticed that they're checking you out, then what you wanna do is make some solid eye contact. Not just looking them in the eye then looking away really quickly as though you're afraid of getting caught, but some solid eye contact for a second or two. And when you do, you give them a slow, friendly smile. This is the universal approach invitation. Men and women both recognize it. And trust me, it really works. Depending on your personality, you might also give them a little signal that you notice them noticing you and you approve. So maybe something small like a eyebrow flash or a head nod, or if you're feeling especially bold, maybe kind of a come here gesture. Just, just don't make the joke of, if I can make you come just by doing this. Also, quick tip. When you break eye contact, do it by looking to the side. Not up, not down, to the side. Looking up makes it look like you're rolling your eyes. Looking down makes you look like either you're ashamed or you're being submissive. Just after a second or two, look to the side, look back, and smile. Tip number four, you need to be fun. The people who have the most success when it comes to being approached are the people who make it worth other people's time to approach them. And that's not about your looks, it's in how you make other people feel. We are social animals, and part of the way that we encourage pro-social behavior and social bonding is through empathy and emotional contagion. When we see other people enjoying themselves, we're more likely to enjoy ourselves too. Because we like enjoying ourselves, we are going to prioritize spending time around the people who help us do that. 
hot but stern or broody makes her a great anime character but a shitty date in the real world. A guy who is handsome but cold as a statue is going to have far less success than someone who is less classically good looking but who makes people enjoy themselves when he's around. And there are a lot of ways to be the person who's fun and who other people enjoy being around. Sometimes it means being at the center of attention. You're the person telling really cool stories and everybody's laughing or everybody's riveted and hanging on every word. Other times it may be the person who is supporting others, who is making others feel good by showing that he thinks that they're funny or that they're awesome. But this doesn't mean that you need to be the center of attention or that you need to be an extrovert to be fun. Introverts can be just as fun as extroverts. They just have to find their own way of doing it. And honestly, even if it's just you talking with a friend or if you're just hanging out people watching, what you want to do is be facing the room and projecting that friendliness and that warmth to everyone around you. The guy who's standing around glowering is just radiating bitterness and judgmental bullshit and honestly, nobody's gonna wanna talk to him. In fact, tip number five is all about your attitude. Just as your body language and the way that you dress sends a message to the world around you, so does your attitude and the way that you interact with the world. And this is something a lot of guys have a hard time with because they don't want to believe that they are that obvious. The reason why a lot of women won't approach certain men is because those guys radiate negative emotions. Anger, hostility, entitlement, neediness, self-pity, self-hate. These are all attraction kryptonite. The guys who rant and rave online about how women are awful and men have it so much harder and women are all just hypergamous sluts who only fuck chads are demonstrating why they're having problems getting dates. They like to think that they've compartmentalized everything, like they're hiding that side of themselves from the world. They're not. All that bitterness and anger and hate that they're venting online doesn't stay online. They're not as good actors as they think, and trust me, their poker face ain't that good. Your attitude bleeds into literally everything you do, and in ways that you're often not aware that other people are picking up on. Women notice when you're making snarky comments about other people at the party. They pay attention and pick up on the fact that you're telling jokes about drunk sluts or what a psycho bitch your ex is. They notice when you roll your eyes or snort when someone you think is beneath you comes up to talk to you. And all of that is gonna turn them off and make them want to talk to someone else, anyone else. On the other hand, warmth, friendliness, openness, acceptance. These all draw people in. And that's not something you can really fake. Certainly not for very long and not well enough to make women want to approach you. Treating people with respect, not just women you want to bang, but people in general, goes a long way to making you more approachable. So does being positive and friendly. You don't need to be everybody's best friend, but showing that you generally like people, not just people who make your penis smile means that more people are going to be drawn to you. And that warmth, that friendliness, those good feelings you're creating in others are going to make you stand out. Women are going to notice that and it's going to make them want to get to know you. Now, some of these changes are things that you can implement into your life right here, right now. Other things are going to take a little time and they're going to take some effort. And that's why it's important to start making those changes right now. Because the sooner you can start implementing these changes into your life, the sooner you're going to find that amazing women are going to be the ones who are approaching you. Hey. Thanks for checking out the latest video. So this week, I wanna do things a little bit differently. If you're someone who dates men, I wanna hear from you. What can a guy do that makes you more likely to approach him? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have a short dating question or a topic you'd like to hear more about on here, then let me know, share that in the comments as well, or send it to me at doc at drnerdlove.com with for YouTube in the subject. Meanwhile, thank you so much to everybody who's been really interested and checking out my new book. The pre-orders have been going strong and I'm loving how excited you guys are. And honestly, I'm really proud of how this turned out. So if you are ready to take dating to the next level, then pre-order your copy of I Got Her Number 
number now what and get ready to turn texting into your dating superpower. Pre-orders are available on Amazon, so hit up the links that are in the show notes below. And while you're there, hey, maybe check out some of my other books. And if you do, be sure to give them a review on Amazon and Goodreads. It's a huge help. Now, if you've been digging the video, then you know what to do. You know the procedure. You've been here before. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know. Be sure to share it with all your friends. If you are really getting a lot out of the series, if you're finding that it's really helping you and you'd like to consider supporting the channel, then become a patron at patreon.com slash drnerdlove. Even $1 a month is a huge help. And honestly, I can't do this without the support of my patrons. So. Thank you all so very much. Meanwhile, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Dr. Nerdlove. You can join the Facebook page at facebook.com slash Dr. Nerdlove. And as always, hit that logo to subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I will be back with you next time with more about love, sex, and dating. Later.